Look at that champion over there. That must be an Elder Gel. I've heard a lot about them, but I've never seen one before. They say an Elder Gel only grows more powerful over time, so if you take too much time finding one, it will only become stronger and stronger. A fight with this kind of dangerous champion monster is no child's play. Only an experienced keeper can bear this burden. Of course, I'll have to be the one to take on this champion monster. I think we should let Tran try beating this champion. What? You've got to be joking! We still owe something to Tran. We'd probably still be stuck in that pit without him. What? Oh, come on. It's dangerous for him, so it'd be negligent to just let him rush head first into a fight like that. That's not true, and you know that. Somebody who's come this far at least deserves a chance. Maybe he'll surprise us. Oh, all right. You can be as stubborn as an ox sometimes. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you all forgetting something? I didn't get saved by Tran out of any pit, so why should I let him fight that Elder Gel? I know just how to settle this like responsible keepers. Let's have a keeper duel, Tran. The winner gets to fight that Elder Gel and get all the glory. How about it? Are you ready for it? Yeah, whatever. All right. I challenge you to a keeper duel, Tran. Well, you know, if I didn't save him from the pit, we wouldn't have gotten inside uh, this mall. I've collected monsters from all across the sanctuary. My team represents my journey as a monster keeper. Yeah, well, my team represents kicking your butt through brute force and no thinking whatsoever. <laughs> wow! I honestly thought that'd be an easy win against a newcomer like you. It teaches me not to underestimate you. Alright then, you can go ahead and fight that Elder Joe. You've definitely earned it. I gotta admit, the way you managed that fight, that wasn't bad at all. Alright then, you can go ahead and fight that Elder Joe. You've definitely earned it. Like a Metroid. <laughs> okay. Um, he's weak to neutral. That's good. He's strong to debuffs. That's bad. My first three guys are uh, are they make they make the bleeding happen, and my last three guys make the poison and burning happen. Um, however, he casts wind magic and water magic. That's good because I'm resistant to wind. Everybody in my first team. Let's give it a shot. Okay, ow. Also, ow. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Alright, that's... Yeah, okay. Uh, this is my first item I've used all game. Let's just get out of here. What do you have to say about this? Nothing. Okay. Alright, for starters, I want either ya the Dark Yaoi or the Dark uh, Nanki, whatever. And let's see here. And then one of these, I think this one is the one I want. Take a look. So this guy, he gives me Overheal, which. Well, there's only two guys I can think of that give me overheal, the Dark Yaoi and this guy. Uh, this will allow me to keep getting more health uh, in the terms of shields. Only 30% though. Hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, let's see here. I can apply debuffs to him using this guy, and while he's strong to debuffs, which I don't actually know what that means, uh, 
Do I have one that's strong? E You're weak to him, but... Okay, in in effects, okay. So his debuff effects are decreased, but they will still have an effect. So if I apply weakness to him, that'll be 25% less damage, or half of that, 12% less damage. And since I can apply two stacks of them, that'll be like 17, or yeah, that'll be like 18% damage, 18% less damage. I mean, I don't know if that's the right idea, and I can probably just escape again. Let's go ahead and pop some level badges. Uh, there was there was a comment that was very upset that I had high level characters. Uh, I'm, you can just level them up with this. Look how many I have. It's not really about the level of your characters. It's what's how what skills you give them and what food. Uh, food probably makes a difference. Let's go ahead and give him that and that. damage. As for you, let's see here. reset him. I get plenty of those, and I can farm more. Put on some defensive gear. Uh, your stuff is already pretty good. Do I have anything better? Here. What about you? Vital ring plus four. Let's swap that out. The vital ring plus four on you. Actually, I don't need that because he he doesn't have supply. I was I don't know what I was thinking. Probably need more defense. Okay, the hide. Hide, hide is pre probably pretty good for this. All of you on extra hide. There we go. Uh, you probably need a shell also. I think my bat had a shell, didn't he? Okay. I don't know if that's going to make this any easier. Um, but let's give it a shot. Alright, first off, I want to use this. Wait, well, that's the wrong one. I want to apply weakness to him. Okay. Let's play Armor Break. Looks like I only applied once. I probably could do it again. Oh, there we go. I don't remember if I how many times it regeneration can stack, so let's Oh, I do almost no damage, so let's just do a, do another support. At the very least, I might get a random 
bonus. Oh, I go, it does go up to three. Okay, so now I've done that. Shock gives me more damage, doesn't it? That's a lot of stats. 40% additional hit. Okay. So voltage. I'm just keep carving them up. What is the down arrow again? Is that weakness? Five, two seventy. Down arrow. Doesn't tell me. I'm gonna assume his weakness because I don't see weakness in here. But is he still weak, or did he cure that off? I don't see it. Here. Armor, shock, poison, burn. Armor. Okay, I don't see it. Maybe it maybe it wore off or something. Nice! Oh come on! Okay, there we go. Boom! Pirate hook. Okay. And an egg. Delicious egg. <laughs> well done. You handled that champion like a pro. Seems like that champion wasn't so tough after all. Now, let's see what's in those treasure chests. There's a lot of gold in here. Jackpot! This one seems to have some trinkets of sorts. Not sure what they're worth. I guess you can have them, Tran. Let's split the gold by three. After all, we all helped to open the entrance to the treasure cave. Alright, I'll take my share. I just want you to know, I let you fight that champion, so I don't owe you anything anymore. We're square now. Being a special keeper means more than just beating a couple champions. We'll see if you can prove yourself in the long run. It was fun, wasn't it? I love Horizon Beach. It's my favorite place in the whole sanctuary. But we can't just relax and have fun while there's trouble going on in the monster sanctuary. I left you your share in that treasure chest. But don't forget to check out the other treasure chests as well. Might be something useful for you in there. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. See ya! Come on, did you really need to tell me bye like four different times? This is the end of the story content so far. We hope that you enjoyed this version of the game. We are working on new content for the game and we hope to deliver it to you very soon. Yeah, I feel like there's always way too many text bubbles. Wow, 2,000. Let's see how much gold I have. I have, uh, a hundred times that. <laughs> a sanctuary token. That is the random trinkets inside here. Let's go and put my party back in order. I'll leave the gear on. Alright, I still need to get the last seashell. And that. Oh, darn it. Wasn't really intending to fight anybody, but. Quickly murderize this group. Fifth rare seashell. Oh! You found the entrance of the treasure cave and got me my memorial ring. Thank you so much! Now I will finally find out what the words of my family have always been. Nothing less forever. Well, that's rather glum to be honest. I already knew that. I think I'll ask the blacksmith to change the inscription. But of course, I have to thank you. You deserve a reward for your services. Oh, seriously, I think I'd rather have kept the ring. 
You've done me a great service. Closure's more valuable than gold to me. Maybe I should say something like, be prepared for winter. Alright, let's go turn in my five seashells. Oh, come on, game. Please don't be another reward box level two. Ahoy hoy, remember our deal? Five rare seashells for a special monster item? Are you ready to give me those rare seashells? Yep. Alright. Thank you very much for those, matey. I won't be needing this anymore. Chain of fishing rod. Non-damaging actions apply one random buff. Treat her well, you hear me? She's done me a great service over the years. It's a seashell collector's life for me from now on. That's right. I'll be known as Seabird, who buys seashells by the seashore. Alright, Seabird. Let's check out what what upgrading these things will cost me and do for me, and then we'll wrap things up by donating to the Monster Army. Want to upgrade some monster armor? Here yeah, we got the pirate hook, fishing rod, and moon sword. Uh, yeah, I think I can afford this one. Don't have as much bronze. Or crimson gems, and I knew that before uh, my recording session. Alright, so let's take a look at this off here. Alright, this will give me a bunch of magic and heal me for 300 on the first hit of a critical attack. Interesting idea. So. I, I, he could heal himself a third of his hit points every time, basically. Huh, okay. This isn't quite a bit of damage, but I'd rather have the 13% critical chance and 21% critical damage. It was a pain to do, but I went ahead and opened up all the new monsters. We're gonna go ahead and donate them now. Whoops. Including my Koi, my original Koi, since I now have the light and dark versions of them. As you can see, I haven't quite leveled up these guys yet. Uh, it was really much, it was a really big hassle to level up these guys. I'm not using level up badges. In fact, fighting that boss was the only time I've ever used a level up badge because I'm trying to find enough equipment for everybody. It's like they're all equipped with shell plus threes and whatever object may supplement them, such as a fang or a helmet or something. But to do that, they all need to... But to do that, I need to do lots and lots of fighting, so... 
I wasn't too concerned about the need to use badges. However, this last area wasn't as interesting because there weren't really any new items for me. Alright. So now I've donated fish, the dodo, the pterodactyl, the crab, the brawlfish, the blowfish, and the squid thing. I'm pretty sure the only name I got right was the dodo. Thank you very much for watching Tran Wins Monster Sanctuary. This has been the Horizon Beach update. I'll see you next time.